In a certain country, there was once great lamentation, or a wild boar that laid waste the farmer's fields, killed the cattle and ripped up people's bodies with his tusk. The king promised a large reward to anyone who would free the land from this plague, but the beast was so big and so strong that no one dared to go near the forest in which it lived. At last, the king gave notice that whosoever should capture or kill the wild boar should have his only daughter to wife. Now there lived in the country two brothers, sons of a poor man, who declared themselves willing to undertake the hazardous enterprise. The elder, who was crafty and shrewd, out of pride, the younger, who was innocent and simple, from a kind heart, the king said, in order that you may be the more sure of finding the beast, you must go in the forest from opposite sides. So the elder went in on the east side and the younger on the west. When the younger had gone a short way, a little man stepped up to him. He held in his hand a black spear and said, I give you this spear because your heart is pure and good. With this, you can boldly attack the wild boar and it will do you no harm. He thanked the little man, shouldered the spear and went on fearlessly. Before long, he saw the beast, which rushed at him, but he held the spear towards it, and in its blind fury, it ran so swiftly against it that its heart cloven in twain. Then he took the monster on his back and went homeward with it to the king, and he came out to the other side of the wood, and there stood at the entrance of the house where people were making merry with the wine and dancing. His older brother had gone in there and thinking that after all, the bull would not run away from him, was going to drink until he felt brave. But when he saw his young brother coming out of the wood, laden with his bounty, his envious evil heart gave him no peace. He called out to him, Come in, dear brother, rest and refresh yourself with a cup of wine. The youth who suspected no evil went in and told him about the good little man who had given him the spear wherewith he had slain the boar. The elder brother kept him there until the evening, and when they went away together, and when in the darkness they came to a bridge or a brook, the elder brother let the other go first, and when he was halfway across, he gave him such a blow from behind that he fell down dead. He buried him beneath the bridge, took the boar and carried it to the king, pretending that he had killed it. Whereupon he obtained the king's daughter in marriage. When his younger brother did not come back, he said the boar must have ripped up his body, and everyone believed it. But as nothing remains hidden from God, so this black deed also came to light. Years afterwards, a shepherd was driving his herd across the bridge and saw lying in the sand beneath a snow-white little bone. He thought that it would make a good mouthpiece, so he clambered down and picked it up and cut out of it a mouthpiece for his horn. But when he blew through it for the first time, to his great astonishment, the bone began of its own accord to sing. Ah, friend, thou blowest upon my bone. Long have I lain beside the water. Brother slew me for the boar, and took for his wife the king's young daughter. What a wonderful horn, said the shepherd. It sings by itself. I must take it to my lord, the king. And when he came with it to the king, the horn again began to sing its little song. The king understood it all and caused the ground below the bridge to be dug up. And then the whole skeleton of the murdered man came to light. The wicked brother could not deny the deed and was soon up in a sack and drowned. But the bones of the murdered man were laid to rest in a beautiful tomb in the churchyard. If you enjoyed the video, please consider liking it. And if you're new to my channel, subscribe to it for more stories.